And with it being a special day of recognition for Vietnam veterans, we recognize a friend of mine who was at the war at the very beginning. So where are you from? Uh, originally from Montecino, Washington. But not for long, because right after high school, John Mustard left the farm in Washington State and joined the Army. He wanted to fly, so in 1960, he joined the National Guard. After officer candidate school, he was stuck in artillery, but finally, the Army sent him to Fort Walters and Mineral Wells just west of Fort Worth in 1963 to learn how to fly helicopters, because that's what the Army needed, helicopter pilots, as things heated up in Vietnam. I uh, flew the H-23 uh, uh, helicopter, it was a trainer. Once he mastered that, he went on to fly the iconic Huey helicopter. General Stilwell started the first gunship company and that was it. In 1964, flying a chopper in Vietnam was so primitive, the only weaponry on board was a crew chief and gunner using army rifles. And there was no mounted machine gun. It was there he saw and was involved firsthand in the horror of war flying over mountains, which changed the atmosphere up so much, they hampered the lift you needed sometimes to fly a helicopter. It was a hillside and I couldn't touch down, so I turned sideways and my blade was about a foot off the ground and held it while the crew chief stood on the skids and pulled the wounded guy up. Ask any Vietnam veteran who was in the stuff, so to speak, and they will tell you the whoop whoop those giant Huey blades made were as welcome as a letter from home, flying wounded out of a combat area and bringing help. Mustard is a modest man who will not brag about what he did, about the constant danger of being hurt or killed. They said, don't go forward, you're being shot at. And I said, I can't, <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to dive off the side. I didn't pay attention to it. I never got hit. So if I'd been hit, it would have been a different story. After a year and a half in Vietnam, Muster came home in 1965 back to Fort Walters and Mineral Wells to train new helicopter pilots. After that, he was ready to get on with the rest of his life. But he actually enjoyed his tour of duty, he said, serving his country. I asked him what he thought about President Johnson, who escalated that war. I won't tell you what he said. His words were not flattering. His feelings about the war, a whole lot like others who went on and fought there. Frustration with long-winded politicians who control what happened in the jungles of Vietnam from miles away in Washington, D.C., instead of unleashing professional fighters to get the job done and win. Muster went on to fly for United Airlines for almost 30 years until he retired in 1996 near Seattle, where he grew up there in Montesano. He and his wife moved to Tonner back in 2002 to be near family here in Texas. He can't fly now because of surgery, but can be found at Tonner's Ham Museum working on vintage airplanes. And let me add, we do have heroes among us. It's up to us to find them. 